and 200. Here's Steve Levy. Some said it wouldn't work in 1970 when this program brought the NFL to prime time. But in 2020, I became the seventh play-by-play -play announcer as it celebrated 50 years on the air. <laughs> what is Monday Night Football? Kristen. ESPN 400. Here's Pablo Torre. I graduated from Harvard, a school that has produced some great sports writers like David Halberstam and some great athletes like this NBA guard who, like me, has spoken out against anti-Asian violence. Liz. Who is Lynn? Yes, Jeremy Lynn. ESPN 600. Here's Mina Kimes. I graduated from Yale, a school that has produced NFL stars like Gary Fensick and two men who had this job running the major leagues, Faye Vincent and Bart Giamatti. They were the commissioners of baseball. Liz, select again. ESPN 800. Here's Richard Jefferson. As an NBA analyst, I like to see my fellow Wildcats from this school, like DeAndre Ayton, Andre Iguodala, and before my time, future Congressman Morris Udall. He had a glass eye, but a wicked one-handed shot. Liz. What is Kentucky? No. What is the University of Arizona? And the last clue, here's Michael Eaves. ESPN has brought you the UFC since 2019, and we cover it all, including this pre-fight confrontation that's now an essential part of MMA, but became popular around 1930 at boxing weigh-ins with fighters like Jack Sharkey. I'm doing it right now. It's the stare down. <laughs> all right, that brings us to the end of the Jeopardy round. Emmy, you are in the lead at 3,600. Liz, right behind her at 3,000. Kristen, you have $800, and you'll pick first in double Jeopardy right after we chat with our players. See you in a minute.